before pediatric transplant was available. And you know, it's very sad to see the patients with end stage liver disease dying in front mm. of your eyes. Uh. Children, they recover very fast. If a successful transplant, a few days, a few weeks later, they're up and about walking around. Russia was the first program that we did. And because Russia was successful, we were able to establish the program in NUH. You know, losing children from um, a massive GI bleed or sepsis. Um, so the BA kids, we would sort of lose them. But also in oncology, uh, cardiology, you know, kids who would probably have uh, not made it out of the hospital yeah. are now yeah. leaving well. So I think healthcare has come quite a, a, a fair bit. And I think it's always been really um, a privilege to have been part of that with the department. Prof Quack was the wise and silent person, a very a man of very few words, uh, but I think whenever he said something, uh, it meant a lot. Uh, Prof Prabha, we were all a bit scared of him, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> he was sort of never in doubt as to what to do for the patient, even though the patient might have been really sick or, you know, we didn't, we were baffled as to what was the next thing to do. Uh, Prof Prabha would be fairly calm in his decision making. Prof Craig, I think we were very good partners. And so we were able to exchange ideas and all that, you know what I mean? And Marion was a, a pillar in the program. I must confess, I, I, one of the things I remember you saying is um, a wise surgeon knows when not to take the patient to theatre. Yep. And I can yeah. still remember you saying that decades after you said it, yeah. For the program to further develop, we need to think of ways to get more patients. Doing 10 a year is not enough to keep everybody it, at the top, tip top position. But I think it's important to sort of maintain those uh, ties, the teamwork, the family sort of feeling, uh, to always um, focus on relationships. I think it's extremely important that we have good relationships with each other in the department. I, I, I think as, uh, as pediatricians, we always have common goals and values. Uh, we want to do the best for ourselves and for our patients, and I think that will be one thing that will keep us all going together. Mm -hmm.